Greetings ladies and gentlemen now and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Persona 4. In the last episode we began the game. Uh, we moved, well our main character here moved from the big city, as so they call it, into this little town here with his uncle. Uh, we went to school for the first day and already discovered a murder had taken place and it looks like there's a police officer chilling out here. You're a student at Yasogami, you should have gotten an order to go home from school today. Go on, go home. So, we're kind of free to roam around a little bit, um, but the game is obviously hinting as going home. Uh, but I just thought, yeah, we want to talk to people and try and find out <laughs> what's going on. Uh, this guy's pretty happy, he doesn't have to go back to work. So, it looks like the stores are all the same as earlier, but the NPCs out in the town are slightly different. And they're hearing sirens all day today. I was getting such great sleep, but then they woke me up. Let me go here now. We can. So before we were restricted in going up these roads. Then they tell you at school you're supposed to head straight home. Still, where did the store's owner go? I can't leave here until I've talked to him. This store? Much of appetizing dishes out on display. The owner is nowhere to be found. Hmm. Do we need to find the owner? Okay. Nothing that way. It's a little unbelievable to see so many policemen in this town. It's never happened before. Of course, it's as soon as we move here. Hey, what's over this way? <clears throat> Hatsuhime Shrine. This is like the shrine's main building. You have no business here. Fair enough. Small shrine. There's a fortune box sitting there, but there's nothing inside. It looks like... Uh... Yeah, I guess this isn't relevant right now. I'm just vibing to this music, man. It's so good. So, a bunch of shops. Barber. So, most shops are closed, so there's no one around. <laughs> yes, that's right. I went for another store owned by the parents. I understand. I'll get to it now. Huh? No, no. Like I explained already. Was this guy's on the phone, so the parents... Does that mean the parents of the, the body they found? It's a liquor store. Cases of various alcohols are stacked on top of each other. Okay. Mm -hmm. Leave the shopping district? Uh, sure. Let's explore some other areas. So, we were at the high school. We can't go back there. Um, we can go... To Junes Department Store. Or Junez. It's called Junez, as we found out last time. Oh, so, th yeah, so they were talking about Juness, isn't, like, the town's not really been the same, so this is, like, this big department store that's kind of taken over all the small shops. You must be a student. Okay, similar, he's saying a similar thing. Just heard something happen, but what? I've never seen this town with so many policemen and rest. It's starting to scare me a little, so I just called my husband to come pick us up. Oops. And from my dad, he said he's coming to come get us. Well, lucky for you. Uh, I guess we can just leave. And go in. I guess we'll take the elevator. Currently being inspected. Okay. So, we can't really do anything here either. Only other place we can go is Samagawa Floodplain. Must be a student. Yep, I know. Hearing the police sirens today. Similar things. Similar things. Hey, old man. Isn't this river something? It's called the Samigawa and it has tons of fish. It's a wonderful, beautiful river. Yeah, there was some accident, alright. See the shadows of fish beneath the water's surface. You had a fishing rod, you need to fish it. Oh, of course. There's a fishing mini game that I haven't unlocked yet. I would not expect anything less. Any secrets? Doesn't look like it. Well, I guess if I ever find a fishing rod, I know where to come. This area can seems kind of deserted though. Yeah, I guess everyone's gone home. 
Well, I guess all that's left to do is uh, head home ourselves. So this is our house. Can we up here? Can we up here? It's terrible. I was doing some work on the farm and the police came around to question me. It's such a dangerous world these days. I can't even relax when I go out shopping. I was going to buy some tiny salt tomato for dinner tonight too. What now? Okay. Take that spot next to the Gmail place, for example. There's more than enough land to make a fine garden. They saw a home garden too. Does that mean I can look forward to them sharing the vegetables they grow? Can we garden? Where are, what are they? What bit of land are they talking about? There's an empty patch of dirt on the open space next to the house. Okay, I guess I can't, can't do it yet. I don't, I don't want to go to town. Right, we'll go in then. It'll become evening when you return home. Return home? I guess, yeah. Let's let's go. Maybe we'll get an explanation of what the hell's going on. I wonder if Dad's not coming home again tonight. Our top story this evening concerns a bizarre case in a quiet suburb. Around noon today, a woman was found dead near the Samegawa River in Inaba. Mm. School zone is being shown on TV. Could this be an incident you heard about? I think so, yes. The deceased has been identified oh. as Miss oh. Mayumi Yamano, a 27-year-old announcer at the local television station. It's her. The initial results of the Inaba Police Department's investigation have revealed... <laughs> The, the Inaba Police Department. That's where Dad works. <sighs> you worried about him? It'll be alright. Um, it'll be alright. I know. That's his job, so this stuff happens. The body was found hanging from a large television antenna oh, atop no. a local Ooh, resident's yeah. roof. That's what we suspected. Authorities are uncertain as to why Excuse the me. body was in such a state. With the cause of death also uncertain, police continue to investigate whether the death is an accident or a homicide. I mean, if she was hanging from the antenna of a police, like, uh, not police, uh, a television uh, aerial, or whatever it was, <laughs> I don't know how that could have been an accident. A thick fog common to the area has slowed their progress, and plans to fully canvas the area are delayed until tomorrow. Seems that the local TV station's announcer was found dead near the Yasugami High School campus. The announcer, Mayumi Yamano. Her affair with a local councilman's secretary had been on the news just the other day. They yeah, found her on the that. roof? That's scary. <gasps> oh, it's Juness. At Juness, every day is Customer Appreciation Day. Come see for yourself and get in touch with our products. Every day is great at your Juness. We're gonna have to hear this jingle every day. Every day is great. And hear her sing it. <laughs> Annika is looking at you expectantly. Your ju oh, do we do we sing? <laughs> you memorized it already? <laughs> I'm the best one in my class. Annika sings the songs herself over and over again. Seems that she's forgotten all about the scary story. Well that's good. When is dad coming home? Should leave her alone. Oh. There's always a quiz show on TV. Oh, this is a new song. I haven't heard this one. Bonk. Nothing catches your eye. So you can't eat any fried rice today? Uh, well. Guess we uh, go to bed. Are we gonna get another weird dream? Or we're we just gonna go to the next day. Next day, I guess. And... <laughs> Someone! Maybe you should help him here. Maybe this time we shouldn't just walk past this guy. <laughs> you saved me. Thanks. Um... Oh yeah, that's right. You're that transfer student. Yep. I'm Yosuke Hanamura. Nice to meet you. Yosuke. Nice to meet you too. <laughs> this be alright. Say, did you hear about the incident from yesterday? 
They found that announcer lady hanging from an antenna. You think it was some kind of warning? There's no way something that weird could have been an accident. You might be right. Dangling a dead body over a roof like that? That's just messed up. Then again, it's pretty messed up to kill someone in the first place. Oh crap, we're late. You want a ride? It's a little squeaky, but it should be fine. Oh god. <laughs> Quiet, you idiots. You guys are in high school, aren't you? Can you shut up during class? Can you have any common sense? First of all, my job is to waste my precious time teaching you assholes philosophy. And since I'm so nice, I just want to say, what teacher gets away with calling their students assholes? Uh, what country are we in? I mean, I guess, you know, it's based in Japan, but like, I don't know if teachers got away with this in Japan. I'll straighten up you real rotten attitudes when I'm at it. Aren't you honored? I'll be going especially hard on any of you morons that are curious about the murder. Got it? Now get your books out. Your knowledge has increased. Cool. Another stat. I'm sure will come into play eventually. So, are you getting used to this place? Yeah. Wow, that was fast. There isn't much to do here compared to the big city. But there is that certain something you can't get anywhere else. The air is clean, the food's great. Oh, you know about the local delicacy? It's grilled steak, man. Like that's anything special, huh? I know a place <laughs> where you can get it cheap. Want to come? You helped me out this morning, so it's on me. What a nice guy. What about me, huh? No apologies? Oh yeah, this dude broke her DVD. My trial of the dragon! <laughs> you always come around when I'm talking about food. How about it, Yukiko? Don't you think he should treat us too? I'll pass. I don't want to gain any more weight. I need to help out at the end today. Gain anyway. any more weight? You look pretty thin to me. <laughs> wow, Yukiko-san. You started training to take over the business? It's not like that. I'm just helping out when it gets busy. Well, I should be on my way. Oh well. We should get going too. Huh? Do I seriously have to treat two people? Unbelievable. Women, am I right? <laughs> Jeanez Food Corp. This is the cheap place you were talking about? Ugh, they don't have grilled steak here! Yeah, well, once you hopped on the freeloader train, I had to change my plans. <laughs> Still, that's no reason to take us to your place. Dude, this isn't my place or anything. Oh, right. I haven't told you yet, huh? I moved here from another city about six months back. This location just opened up and my dad was assigned to manage it. So our entire family came out here. Here. This is to welcome you to town. Sadanaka, yours is on me too. Yeah, I know. Okay, you're, you're getting annoying now. I, I know he broke your shit, but... Goddamn. <laughs> Conversation became animated over small talk. It's only been half a year since this place opened up, but I haven't been to the local shopping district much since. A lot of stores there started closing, and... Ooh, uh... You can't blame it all on Juness, can you? I mean, it, it's... Something that happens often. Hey, it's Saki-senpai. Saki-senpai? Sorry, be right back. Okay. Who's that? That's Saki Kanishi. Her family runs a liquor store in the shopping district. Ooh, that's uh, the police were looking for the owner of the uh, the liquor store, right? I think she's working here part time though. Hey, how's it going? You look beat. Hey, I'm finally on break. What's up, Hanachan? Boosting the family business by bringing your friends here? Oh, madam, you wound me. <laughs> Kidding aside, you look down. Did something happen? 
Oh, it's nothing. I'm just a little tired. Hey, if you need to talk, I'm always willing to listen. <laughs> I'm okay. Thanks, though. Ugh. Why did I leave school early yesterday? Hmm? Hey, is he the kid who transferred here? Something's going on, man. It's way too obvious. Are you the transfer student? Oh, did you hear about me already? It must be nice to have someone else from the big city to talk to, huh? I don't see Hanachan hanging out with the other guys much. Not necessarily. He doesn't have too many friends, so I hope you two get along good. Hanachan's a good guy, but he can get nosy sometimes. You gotta tell him right to his face when he starts to annoy you. <laughs> yeah, he's annoying. Um, I don't know. What do I say here? Like, I, do I get? Uh, I'm guessing like I'm gonna get like a friendship up. So maybe with whoever, like whoever I side with. <laughs> um, I'll back the bro. <laughs> I know. I'm just kidding. Come on, senpai. There's no need to worry about something like that. Well, my break's just about over. Back to work I go. You know what? I think I'm ma I'm debating on changing the voice actors to Japanese because you can do that. Because hearing hearing him say senpai in in this accent just it doesn't sound right. <laughs> Later. Like it's nice not having to like oh, uh, senpai. You know, voice act stuff. Maybe it, I don't know. Let me know in the comments. Would you like me to? Uh, I'm annoying, but she's even nosier than me. Would you like me to change the voices to Japanese? Kimo is English. What do you guys think of the, the the English voice acting? She has a younger brother, and she treats me pretty much the same way. Oh, you don't want her treating you like a brother, huh? <laughs> I get it. Mm. So that's how it is. The daughter of a local family-run liquor store, and the scion of the invading chain. Ho oh, ho! The flame of forbidden love. God damn. Dude, it's not like that. Oh really? Well, I know just hey, the thing really? to up that lovesick heart. You ever hear of the Midnight Channel? You're supposed to look into a TV that switched off alone, <clears throat> exactly at midnight on a rainy night. What? While you're staring at your own image, another person will appear on the screen. And they say that person's your soulmate. What? For a second I thought you were actually going to say something useful. How can you get all excited over such a childish urban legend like that? Childish, huh? You don't believe it, do you? Of course I don't. Well, it's raining tonight. Let's all try it out. Then you'll see. Try it out. I got a bad feeling Wait, about you this. you even tried it yourself? Wow. I'm trying to remember the last time I heard something this stupid. All that aside, <laughs> you know that incident yesterday? You guys think it was murder? Ooh, what if the culprit behind it was still lurking around? <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. You shouldn't joke about stuff like that. Now who's the childish one? All I'm saying is, you guys better try it out tonight. Hear the rumor about the Midnight Channel where one can see one's soulmate on a rainy night. Maybe you should try it out tonight. I don't know, man. This is, uh... Something I think we should avoid. <laughs> Once again, Dejima is not home. Another dinner alone with Nanako. Did your father call? No. He always says he will. What a day. I'm back. Did anything happen while I was out? No. You're late again. I'm sorry. I'm busy at work. Can you put the news on for me? He ain't gonna spill anything for us, is he? Next. More details in the developing story on the incident in Foggy Inaba. I apologize if you guys can hear any background noise, by the way. It's just uh, some work going on in my house at the moment, so... Announcer Mayumi Yamano's dead body was found hanging above a house in this isolated rural town. 
It is confirmed that Miss Yamano had been involved in an affair with Taro Namatame, husband of Enka singer Misuzu Hiragi. Mm -hmm. It's a follow up report about the incident yesterday when Miss Yan Yanamo, Yamano, sorry, TV announced there was a live shutting an affair with the council secretary. The man's wife seems to be Miz Mizusu Hiragi, an Enka singer. Could the incident be tied to their lover's quarrel? The police plan to investigate this relationship and question any personnel involved with them. So maybe it was the wife. In addition, we now bring you an exclusive interview with the local student who found Miss Yamano's body. <sighs> an interview with a kid? <sighs> Where the hell did they find her? What went through your mind when you saw it? Could you tell she was dead? Did you see her face? Oh, it was the girl we were just uh, talking to. Um... The females of students' face and voice are indistinct. Yeah, but look at her hair. It's the it's definitely the girl we were talking to when we were eating with the um, the people I can't remember the names of. Chie and the dude. <laughs> you feel like you've seen her somewhere before. Don't yeah. Don't you think it's scary that someone was killed on a foggy day? What kind of interview is this? Huh? She was killed. Oh. Uh... So, did you see anyone suspicious around here? No, not really. We heard that you found it when you left school early. Did you have some personal business to take care of? Huh? That's... The reporter's enthusiasm seems to be perplexing the girl. Looking closely, she reminds you of Saki Ganishi Yusuke... Yusuke yeah, Yusuke... Yusuke. A tragedy Yusuke that occurred near the local shopping district. Many store owners are raising concerns about losing customers as a result. <laughs> if they lose more customers, it'll be because you're making such a stink about it. That, that's partially true. It really is a bizarre case, isn't it? I mean, hanging someone upside down from... I'd have to say it's a Oops, warning sorry, guys. or a sign from the culprit. Yes, but so far, no one has come forward to take credit for the crime. Oh yeah, because everyone does that. <laughs> Loads of prank calls, though. So the cause of death is still unknown, and they don't have a single suspect yet? Taxpayers' funds are going to a police force who can't even figure out if this is an oh accident my or God. a homicide? Really? We'll be right back after these messages. At Juness. Every day is customer appreciation day. Every day is great at I knew it. <laughs> Every day is great at your Juness. Hey dad, can we go to Juness together sometime? <clears throat> no? He seems to be asleep. <laughs> Jeez. Dude's been at work for like three days straight. It's better I'll wake Dad up in time to go into his own room. Always check the fridge and the kitchen. You never know. You reminded that you made a promise to test out the rumors of this midnight channel. Let's check it out in your own room. Oh, we have a TV. Cool. Yep. Watch TV in your room. Let's do it. You can hear it raining outside. It's almost midnight. The soulmate appears if you look into TV on a rainy night. Could Chia's story be true?
Bye bye. <laughs> oh my god. Are you okay? Uh, yeah. Okay. Well, good night. Monica seems to have returned to her room. What just happened? Decided to talk about it with the others tomorrow. I would not be able to sleep after that. <laughs> like, no way. Sorry. Perfect timing. Sorry. Move over. She forced herself under your umbrella. <laughs> I did have my own, but I saw this kung fu movie where they use an umbrella to pull off some sweet moves, and I accidentally broke mine trying to mimic the movie. By the way, did you see it? I did. Ah, do tell. But the person it showed. Never mind. I'll save it for when the others are around. We've got to be late to school. We didn't really see a person, like, well, that we can make out anyways. Uh, um. It's kind of awkward to only bring this up now, but we're pretty close here. I'm just going to go ahead and run the rest of the way. You'll catch a cold. Oh, right, good point. If I catch a cold, it could spread and that's suck for everyone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think I'll keep going with you. Come on! Alright, let's go. Didn't even get a point for that. Hello? <laughs> Hello, everyone. My name is Kimiko Sufe. Sufue. Bro, I don't even know. And I don't know how much you know about the world history, but I'm an expert. Dude, if my history teacher dressed like this, I would have passed. First, a little about me. I love to use my dowser to look for lost items, and there's nothing quite like a romance. In fact, world history is a magnificent romance. History is like a river, it is born into the past and flows ever forward. Hope we can all enjoy the profundity of history together. Since this is my first lecture, I'll start with an easy question. A transferee, Mr. Ogensum, please stand up. The Western calendar is based on Anno Domini. Oh, <laughs> Anno Domini. Anno Domini. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, fuck's sake. <laughs> you know when I'm reading all these Japanese names? I'm, I'm, I'm not fucking with it. The traditionally believed year of Jesus Christ's birth. What is the year before 1 AD called? One BC, right? There wasn't a zero, right? You seem to understand this well. You think that history is like math, 0 AD would be the natural assumption, but world history is much more complicated. The Gregorian calendar we use today is based on the Julian calendar, which is made while there is no concept of the zero as a number. That's why when counting backwards, we go from 1 AD straight to 1 BC. Hopefully that was a nice introduction to world history. You gave the correct answer. Your knowledge has increased. Yeah. Glad I didn't fuck that up. What's up with the body being hung upside down? It's so freaky. Is it supposed to be like mimicking an execution? It's messed up. My senpai told me it was a third year named Saki who found the body. Y Yo. Um. It's a. Uh, it's not really that important, but. Well, yesterday on TV, I, uh. So I'm guessing the same oh, thing happened. Uh, you never mind. Look, I'll tell you later. <laughs> Yosuke, did you hear the rumor? Saki Senpai's supposedly the one who discovered that body. I wonder if that's why she looked so down. She doesn't seem to be at school today either. Huh? Hey, Yukiko, are you helping out at the inn today too? Things are really out of hand right now. I'm sorry. Something's up with her. Is it just me, or does Yukiko-san seem way stressed out today? I guess they're running her ragged. By the way, did you see... it last night? Oh, we huh? did. Uh, well, what about you? 
I did. I seriously saw a girl. But my soulmate's a girl? What's that supposed to mean? I couldn't quite tell who it was, but it was a girl for sure. Her hair was brown, about shoulder length. She was wearing our school uniform, and... Hey, I think that's the same person I saw. I couldn't make out that much detail, though. The image I saw was much blurrier. Yeah, we got like a very blurry... Like... Wait, so you saw it too? And we saw the same girl? <laughs> Did... How should I know? How about you? Did you see it? Tell them about what happened last night. It sounds like we all saw the same person. But weird voices aside, what was that about getting sucked into your TV? Were you that tired last night? You must have just fallen asleep in front of your TV. Oh, so you guys didn't, like, have your hand trapped in your TV? That'd be one interesting dream, <laughs> though. I like the part where you got stuck because your TV was too small. <laughs> That's pretty realistic. If it had been bigger... Oh, that reminds me. Our family's been talking about buying a bigger TV. Oh, yeah? Well, flat screen TVs are definitely in these days. <laughs> Didn't this game come out in like 2008? Want to go Something check like them out on the way back? We're beefing up our electronics department this month. Oh, definitely. My parents don't know anything about electronics, and I've just got to see my kung fu movies on the big screen. Okay, so Chie is big into kung fu movies. <laughs> Definitely. Jesus Christ. <laughs> We've got some pretty big ones in stock. I bet they'd be big enough for you to fit into. <laughs> they didn't believe you at all. You started to go to Jinez with the others. Electronics department. Wow! That's a TV. It's huge! <laughs> and holy crap, it's expensive. Who buys something like this? I don't know, rich folks? Honestly, not many people shop for TVs here. That's why we don't have clerks around. Huh, not worth trying then, I guess. Well, at least looking's free. Nope, can't get in. Figures. <laughs> really? <laughs> <laughs> this proves it. It was all just a dream. Besides, these flat screen TVs are so thin, you just end up on the other side. Ah, what am I saying? So, Chia, what kind of TV are you guys in the market for? They said they wanted one that's cheap. You got any suggestions? <clears throat> well, miss, uh, might I suggest this one over here? It's the newest model just released this spring. What? That's not cheap at all! There's way too many zeros! I guess uh, with the English voice acting, you wouldn't get like him putting on that voice. You know, that that would probably I'd probably miss that. So there's 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 things to it. The voice acting is good. I do like it. I should have asked what you meant by cheap right off the bat. You got connections, right? Come on, hook me up. You know I can't do that. <laughs> hey, how about this one over here? It's a display unit. It's a little old, but. TV this big, he really might be able to go inside. Oh yeah, what kind of TV do you... <laughs> huh? Something wrong, Yosuke? <laughs> Is his arm in the TV? Whoa. Uh, is that some kind of new model? L like with a, a new function? Hell no! You gotta be kidding me! Did you really stick your hand through the screen? Bro, this is not what I expected to be, this story to be going. <laughs> oh man, this is for real. That's some magic trick, man. So how's it work, huh? What's the magician's secret? With them staring at you, astonished, you might be able to put in more than just your arm. Hey, don't do that! What are you doing? Oh my god! <laughs> There's empty space inside, you tell them that. What do you mean, inside? Wh what do you mean, empty space? Seems very spacious in here. What do you mean, spacious? I mean, what's 
going on? Holy crap. I think this is all too much for my bladder. <laughs> what the? Are you going to pee your pants? I've been holding it in all day. I haven't had a chance to go. I can't hold it anymore. I do really miss this to go Shit. pee. Customers, they're coming. What? But we've got a guy half stuck in the TV here. What are we going to do? What the fuck? Ow! I landed right on my wallet. Man, where the heck are we? What is this place? Some place inside Juness? Hell no, it isn't. I mean, we fell through a TV. Actually, uh, what is going on here? So, your understanding has increased. I think my butt's cracked now. <laughs> uh, of course it is. Whoa. What now? Did you wet your pants? No, stupid. Look around. We're on like a movie is set. Is this a studio? All this fog. Or... Is it smoke? There's no place like this in Inaba, is there? Hell no. But man, this place is huge. What are we gonna do? Let's look around. Huh? B but look, we need to get home. I don't know about you, but I don't see a way out so far, so... May as well huh? inspect, right? Wait a minute. Wait, which way did we come in from? Uh, I don't see a way in yep. <laughs> or out. What? That can't be right. How could that be? I don't know. Don't ask me. I can't take this anymore. I want to go home. Okay, so how? Let's calm down. Let's look for a way out. We're doomed. I don't think we're doomed is going to help, so let's look for a way out. Yeah, an exit. We need to find one. Let's calm down and think about this. All right, so we need to find a way out. Is there really a way out of here? We got in, so we must be able to get out somehow. That's true, but... If there's no exit, we're trapped, so let's cross our fingers and look around. What is this place? It feels different from where we were before. It looks like we're in some kind of building, but... Damn, this fog's so thick I can hardly see. Are you sure we're not wandering farther away? I can't be positive, but we gotta trust our instinct a little. Well, maybe let's look at the little swirly door up ahead. <laughs> I know, but... There's no choice for now but to continue onward. bedroom hey is it me or is the fog lighter here no service what a surprise can you guys slow down a little it's hard enough to see where you're going huh what the huh it's a dead end there's no exit that's the woman that was killed she had like short black hair, that's definitely her. It keeps getting creepier and creepier the further we go. Oh boy. Uh, I can't hold it any longer! My bladder's gonna explode! Yosuke! What are you doing? 
I gotta let it out before I piss my pants. You go, if you gotta go, you gotta go. You're going here? Oh, you have gotta be kidding. Turn around. I can't go if everyone's watching. Uh, I can't do it. It's all your <laughs> fault if my bladder bursts. Like I care. Anyways, what's with this room? Check out these posters. Their faces are all cut out. Someone must really hate this person. Dude, this chair and rope. Oh, that kind of arrangement no. is never good. Oh, no. It's tied in a noose. Is this a scarf? Come on, let's go back to where we came from and look somewhere else for an exit. Yeah, let's leave. <laughs> I think I've seen that poster before. Who cares? Let's go! I'm sick of this place. Oh my god, shut up. <laughs> and I'm not feeling so good. Now that you mention it, me too. Your body does feel heavy. Could it be due to this place's oppressive atmosphere? Alright, let's go back. I'm seriously starting to feel sick. Finally made it back here. Wait, what's that? There's something over there. Oh. <laughs> what? <laughs> what is this thing? A monkey? A bear? What in the world? That's what I want to know. Who are you guys? Oh my god. It talked! Well, what are you? You want to fight? Don't yell at me like that. Bear is cowering in fear. Maybe it would be better to ask him nicely. What is this place? This place is what it is. It doesn't have a name. It's where I live. You live here? If I was you guys, I'd hurry back to the other side. Someone's been throwing people in here. It's a big headache. Huh? Throwing people in? What are you talking about? I don't know who's doing it. I just want them to think before they go doing things like that. Hey, what's your problem? What gives you the right to yell at us like that? <laughs> what are you? Where are we? What the heck is going on here? I already told you. Anyways, you should hurry back. What it comes down to is, you want us to get out of here, right? Well, so do we. We just don't know how, damn it. Uh, that's why I'm saying I'll let you out. Like I keep saying, we don't know where the frickin' exit... Wait, what? What the hell? <laughs> where did those TVs come from? Now I know why the loading screen icon is a TV. Okay, now go, go, get out of here. I'm a busy bear. What's going on now? Whoa! Hey, what are you doing? S stop pushing! Dude, what the fuck's going on? <laughs> Did we make it back? Attention shoppers! Our daily limited time sale will now begin at the side dish area on the first floor. Why not try the delicious fresh produce Juness picked for you this morning as your side dish for dinner tonight? All ages are invited to take advantage of this incredible bargain. Crap, it's already that late? Looks like we were in there for quite a while. That's right. Now I remember where I saw that poster before. Look over there. That's the poster we saw. What's up now? 
Hey, you're right. They're the same. Yep. I couldn't tell before without the face, but it was Misuzu Hiragi. She's been all over the news lately. Something about her husband having an affair with that announcer. Oh, so she isn't the one who died. She's the wife. Hey, so does that mean that weird room we saw? Could it be related to that Yamano lady's death? Now that I think about it, there was that creepy noose hanging from the ceiling. Yeah, stop. No more. We gotta stop talking about this. I'm gonna wipe what happened today from my brain. I don't think my poor heart can take anymore. I'm feeling a chill, too. Let's go home. I want to lie down and rest. That was fucking wild. <laughs> what the hell? Hey, welcome home. Still feel sluggish. Um, well, I doubt you'd know. But have you heard anything about a student named Saki Konishi? She discovered the body. Yeah, that's true. Well, to be honest, we got a call from her family. Oh, She's disappeared. no. We've got people looking for her, but oh, no. she hasn't been found yet. Oh. <sighs> Work just keeps piling up. And now, more on the case still casting a shadow over the foggy town of Inaba. Not long ago, television announcer Mayumi Yamano was found dead in the small town. Up until now, her whereabouts prior to her death had been unknown. But the police investigation has found that she had been staying in the region's famous Amagi Inn. So she had been staying in, uh... In the inn with, uh, whatever her name is, I can't remember. Yukiko, the Yamagi Inn is the inn that Yukiko's family runs. She had apparently been staying there alone. Perhaps she was taking a vacation to recover from her ordeal. Oh yes, the Yamagi Inn. Their hot springs are first rate. The manager's teenage daughter also works there, and it's rumored that she'll take over the inn this spring. If that happens, she'll be one of the youngest managers on record. Um. I should book another trip there. That's a little sus. I don't know about that. Uh, I see. Yeah, the, uh, Moving no, along, thanks. it's time for the weather report. <laughs> that was a bit weird. The rain has begun to subside. From now until morning, heavy fog warnings will be in effect in the Inaba region. Visibility will be severely reduced, so please be careful if you plan on driving in the area. Before the announcer was found dead, she was apparently staying at the uh, Inn run by Yukio's family. As it seems the whereabouts of Saki Konishi, you discovered the body, are known. Is the ramen ready now? Give it some more time. <laughs> you sneezed. I feel a slight chill. Are you sick? You're probably still adjusting to the new environment. Nanako, could you get him some cold medicine? You should get to bed after you take it. Drill those six to stay in bed. There's fog today, should you go to sleep earlier to catch a cold? Let me guess. Quiz show on TV. She goes straight to bed tonight. A spring cold can be tough. Alright, well, I think I'm gonna end this episode here, as I'm now again once at the 50 minute mark. I didn't uh, intend for that. But, uh, you know, this game, the story just keeps going on and on. Like, things just keep happening. We were sucked into the TVs, like, oh my god, like, I'm very interested in uh, what's gonna happen, because uh, this is absolutely crazy. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, if you did enjoy, make sure to subscribe to see the rest of the series as I progress. I know these first few episodes have been very story heavy, just me watching the story. Um, so I understand if you guys are skipping ahead a little bit, um, but, you know, I'm hoping we'll get some actual uh, gameplay soon, you know, some more fights and... All that good stuff, but you know, I guess the setting up the story is a big deal, and I'm enjoying it so far. So, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next one. Take it easy.